Is this thing on? What's up, you sexy motherfuckers? Welcome to another episode of Dumb Blonde. Today, I have one of my prettiest and most favorite guests, along with her iconic husband, uh, Katie Forbes and Rob Van Dam. Hey. hey! What's up, guys? Thank you guys so much for being here. Right on. I really appreciate you guys being here. So, Katie, what's up? Why don't you tell me what you've been doing, dude? Since last time you were on the podcast, you have grown expeditiously. Thank you. <laughs> expeditiously. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm so proud so of you. Thank you. Yeah, you, a lot you've been has like, happened. It's, it was probably like a year ago, the last time we were together. A lot has happened. Since then, I got signed to Impact Wrestling. Yay, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. We film actually in Nashville. Yay. So always I, you think of you when we, I'm there, but we're so busy. Yeah, and I never want to bother you, but whenever you guys do have time, you guys should come and meet my husband at the studio. Our, we're yes. right downtown. Yeah. Yeah. So, and um, I'm wrestling on Impact, and also I'm Rob's manager on there, so it's Yay. really fun always getting to work with him. Yeah. And been doing OnlyFans and meeting friends and networking and twerking. Tell and me about the OnlyFans. How's that going for Only you? OnlyFans has been so popping. I just hit my one year anniversary on August 1st for it. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Congratulations, baby. Thank you. Oh, Thank I love you. that he supports you because that's yeah. how Jelly is with me, too. Yes. I love so that. so supportive. And um, I didn't expect it to be as poppin' as it is. And now it's like, it was supposed to be just a little side hustle. And now I'm like, this is a huge, like... It's just popping. Like, it's like a main hustle. It's crazy, yeah. right? The amounts of money. Like, I have so many people that are so curious about OnlyFans. Um, do you have Do you have the free page and a paid page? Or how does that work? I just have my paid page. Oh, you did it the right way. <laughs> right. I do have my paid page because a lot of my fans are my fans through wrestling. Right. So, um, I have my fan base already through that. And then um, I put things on my wall, and then I have extra, like, where my extra freaky stuff is the pay-per-view. Yep, and the DMs. Yep, I yeah. love that. It See, goes down in the DM. Holler. So I started out with a free page because that's what I was told to do, and I didn't realize how hard it was transferring over from the free to the paid. My, <laughs> She's all in the mic. She's so cute. Um but now I have the paid page and the paid page uh -huh. is popping off too. But I made hella money off my free page. Uh -huh. Like it was crazy. I was making clearing at least a hundred grand a month off my free page. And it was like unheard of. Yeah. So I couldn't fucking believe it. But now it's like transferring over to the paid page. Mm -hmm. um, Rob, how do you feel about the OnlyFans situation? Um, it's she, she works hard on it. Like she's always filming herself. And yeah. At least now she's got a, uh, a valid reason to do it. You know? Right. I'm, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm. I'm not from the, uh, I didn't grow up, you know, with phones. We didn't even have cell phones until, right. you know, um, way, way into my adulthood. Right, right, right. And um, so, you know, she's always on her phone, but it's it, but it's it's awesome because uh, she's doing great business with it and her numbers just grow like crazy, right? Every week, it's mm -hmm. like, you know, more and more and more. So, do you ever make an appearance on her OnlyFans? Not on purpose. Yeah. You, might, <laughs> <laughs> you might catch a, a foot, you know, yeah. in the background. Oh, so you're not the stunt cock. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, do you collab with other girls on there too? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so do you have plans on? bringing rob in there no no yeah You're like, i no, get a lot it. of requests for him but that's just not his thing <laughs> see my husband is so happy to be a cock star right now i think that's his awesome. whole life you know because my husband's a bigger guy but he's like he's excelled in the music industry and that's what yeah. he's great at and now he's excelling on only fans and he calls himself a cocksmith <laughs> so he's like he's like i'm not a rapper anymore i'm a cocksmith so rob it's the funniest <laughs> shit rob would probably be down with it if he wasn't already known through wrestling right but that it's just like he's already known in wrestling, so it'd be late. It'd be like late in the game for him to make his porn debut. I mean, I don't, I, see, my thing is, I think you should fucking like set a goal, and like once you hit like fucking three hundred thousand a month, you're gonna drop you guys a sex tape. Like, make, put an incentive. Like, like my my brain is always right, working, dude. Yes. You know, just gives people a thing to work towards. Uh -huh. So, Rob, let's switch over to you really quick. Um, Charlie was actually filling me in about you. Charlie is a huge fan. He just didn't want to tell you. <laughs> he went, oh no, he yeah, he told me. Did he, he tell you? He told me that he. Met me at um, the uh, Deja Vu in Nashville, yeah. and that that could have been back as early as like uh, you know <laughs> 92, 91. Yeah. First time I went through Nashville was in ninety one. Oh so. gotcha. <laughs> yeah, he was so yeah. Charlie started out being a DJ at, at a strip club, and now he's like a huge comedian. So. That's why I wanted you guys to hook up. Cool. But yeah, so when he found out you were coming, he started rattling off all these facts, and I was like, God, I I did my research, but I didn't realize it was so you know like that. And he's like, Dude, he's like a wrestling icon. Yeah. Um, Guilty as charged. Yeah. So 
are you still wrestling? I still am. Yeah, like she was saying, you know, we're on impact. So okay. Now, so now we work together, but uh, but it's um, it's 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 been less and less. Uh, like I, I've only like. When you're with WWE, you're, right. you're on the road over 300 days a year. Yeah. And then um, the last uh, several years before last year, I was down to like a dozen matches a year and I was looking to slow down. But then uh, work, well, worked out this deal with Impact, which I didn't see coming. And um, it's it's like the longer I do it and the... And, uh. Which also <laughs> was that Petrie? <laughs> well, she didn't even get introduced yet, by the way. Our dog Petrie. This is Petrie. I'm yeah. so sorry. I didn't. I didn't have a chance to. She my, into my, my value goes up though. The longer I do it, so it right. makes it harder to get out of it. Right. Know? It's yeah. very hard. Yeah, the money is very hard. So do you do still the frog? Do you still do yeah, the frog? Yeah, five star frog splash. So Mandela you get up there and do that now? So I do everything. Dude, yeah. I was watching you fucking land. Like that is brutal. How yeah. does that make the body feel? Um, not good. <laughs> He's like, not good. <laughs> but he so, uses RBD, mm. CBD to help with the Yay. 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 I like that. I like that. I like that. Good so plug, baby. how did you guys meet? I want to know. Me. It was me. Um, we were at a um, wrestling convention sign, doing autographs. And then I wrote my number down and put it in his bag. Oh yes, I made it happen, and I slid in the DM too. <laughs> <laughs> Playing a little what, hard to get. What was it about him that just you just had to have? Besides the fact that he's a Sagittarius, right? Yeah. Okay, my husband's a Sag too. We're very compatible in that way. Yeah. But when I first saw him on TV, like, um, my friend was in the room, and then I was like, my jaw dropped, and I said, Aww. if he met me, he would love me. Aww. Like I literally manifested. And I do. Right. Aww. I, and she was like, I was like, oh my god, he's so hot. And I was watching a promo of him doing the splits. I was like, his bulge, <laughs> yes, his <laughs> ass, yes. She was dude, like, dude, we got to see the bulge on OnlyFans <laughs> now. Now you're fucking, you're advertising it. Now people really are gonna want to see it. It's easy to see in the onesies. So my friend was like, I felt. My friend said she felt so uncomfortable. She's like, I, I felt like I needed to leave the room. Oh my gosh. When I saw him on TV. And then, so when I saw him in person, of course I was going to shoot my shot. Yeah. yeah. So what happened? You shot, you shot obviously. Yes. And he ate it up or? Yes. We, I was visiting my friend in California cause he lived in California at the time I lived in New Orleans. Mm -hmm. And that next week I happened to be visiting a friend that lived like 10 minutes from him. Mm -hmm. Which in LA, that's, uh, that's, that's hard to do. Right. LA's so mm -hmm. spread out. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so he just happened to be so close and so we went on a date and then the date ended up lasting for so long. Like Aww. it was like it was like I said that whenever I met my husband that it felt like our souls recognized each other. Yeah. yeah it's one of those things and it's like when you know, you know. Yes. And so you guys have been inseparable ever since then. Yeah. And uh some interesting detail on yeah. the on that first date. <laughs> Um, I, you know, I'm, I'm very, uh, passive, right? So yeah. I'm just like, you know, if you're having a good time, um, you know, we can go on to the next place or I can drop you off, you know, let me know what's up to you, whatever. Yeah. And I said, if you go to the next place and you're having fun, you know, I got this podcast I got to do. And then, you know, we can go out if you want, you know, you tell me. And, um, she said that she didn't think that I was too into her. And she said That's that how she Sagittarius was, men are. <laughs> and she was thinking, uh, she was thinking of, you know, maybe having me drop her off. And then my phone lit up and I had her as my screensaver. Oh, yes. I got yeah. goosebumps. <laughs> that is so cute. So you guys yeah. literally inseparable since then. Yeah. yeah. So I was, yeah. yeah, I literally told him to drop me back off at my friend's house. Cause I'm talking about myself and things to do <laughs> on a first date. You know, so what he's like, not making eye contact. He was shy. He was so, shy. But he just like, that's just how he is. No, I had and to yeah. rape my husband. My husband would have <laughs> right. literally, we, he was so into me, but he literally would not have sex with me because he wanted to know my five-year plan at six o'clock in the morning <laughs> while we were drunk. <laughs> I was like, dude, stick your dick in me. Like, I'm, I don't want to talk about this right now. Right, good thing we're aggressive women. Right. We go after what we you want. You have to be, you have to be. Right, so when I saw the the picture, I knew he was into me, that it was just, he didn't, he just wasn't putting it over big, you know? Aww. And then I gave him a kiss, and then we went to the beach, we were walking around holding hands, like we've been together for so <laughs> long. <laughs> I love yeah. that. So um, how does that work in the wrestling world? Like when you guys do start a real relationship, do they have to write that into the script? No, no. no. We're very fortunate that uh, Impact Wrestling really likes to 
uh, look and watch our real lives and mm-hmm. capitalize on that. Yeah, it makes it, makes it so much better because right. yeah, we don't have to substitute our values for character values. And, yeah, and there's a lot that goes on with that. Absolutely, yeah. so it's I, awesome. I know when I got with my husband, I got a lot of hate because all of his fans, you know, they were just like, oh my God, she's a gold digger. She's this, she's that. And mm-hmm. didn't realize I was my own, a boss in my right. own right, you know? Did you get that from the wrestling fans or did they just automatically love you? Well, we, it was, was on TMZ about us getting together in the very beginning. And he had been separated from his wife for a while before mm-hmm. we got together. But the way it came out on the news made it look like he left his wife for me and his wife had cancer years and years it's sad but it was years and years ago and she got better but then they say rob how do you leave a dying woman with cancer and we're like she's healed like you know people just changing the facts right to to make that's how people are trolls right but people love drama and And it's because you're beautiful and young too yeah but then i was like not worried about it because i'm like they'll know with time how sincere i am because this love is not going anywhere yes that's how that's what i had to do i literally had to like five here i am five years later we're still five years too yeah exactly four and a half years so now that we've been together four and a half years more in love than ever Aww. best friends like if people know it's real you know then it just shut up the haters because yeah. they see what's up now so on your only fans what can people see now it's twerking as <laughs> you're titties. like the twerk queen right yes i am <laughs> yes. i love that i love that you dubbed yourself the twerk queen because yeah. it, it's fitting because that ass is amazing Thank if you, you guys have not seen this ass you got to go over there and see this yes ass. and i love it because it's on on impact wrestling um my character is like Right now, like I was talking about my website. I'm going to do a big launch on my website on mm-hmm. Impact Wrestling. Yay. So it's awesome that I can mix the two because I twerk in the ring. That's my wrestling character. And I make mm-hmm. it rain going to the ring. Yeah. And then also I can promote my side hustle by talking about my website yes. on the channel. Yes. So it's just perfect that I that I mashed the two between my OnlyFans and wrestling. And it's my real personality because... Like, even when it's just us home alone, I'm always twerking in the mirror. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's really what I love to do. Do you love that about her? Um, I, I love seeing her happy. Oh. You know, so, yeah, he, it's, it's really not, yeah, great. it's really not about that. You know, there's, like, a, a lot of, um, she's very different than, than what I thought I was into. Yeah. And, and, not, and so much. He didn't know he was an ass man. Yeah. So much <laughs> changes about your priorities when you just really bond with somebody yes. and, you, and, you, and yeah. you really want the best for them. Same and, story yeah. with my husband and yeah. I. My husband only would date like square bitches. I'm like the first like, you know, I, I hate using the terminology, keep using the terminology, but just, you know, boss bitch that yes. just like has her own shit going on. And he's like, I never knew I lo- how much I loved it. You know, like mm-hmm. a woman with drive and just, it, it, just integrity is like attractive, you know? Yes. So that's everything that they need. I want to play a game with you guys. Are you yes. guys going to play a game with me? Let's do it. We need to think of what the prize will be. Cause what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys some cardboard and some markers. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you guys questions. You guys can't look at each other's answers, okay? okay. And then we're going to turn it around. And whoever has the, the most correct answers wins. Because it's so it's a newlywed game. So I'm going to ask you guys questions about your relationship. We'll crush it. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. I can't wait. So what, what's the loser going to have to get? What does the winner get? And what does the loser get? <laughs> I'm a, I, I want to go right to the good yes. shit. What's the loser get? I think it should be something sexual. Oh, if it's a win-win, then uh, <laughs> then the winner fucks the loser. How about that? Yeah, I like that. Got we'll it go. covered. We'll roll with that. <laughs> Got it covered. All right, you guys can't look at each other's answers. Yeah, should we? How are we gonna not? How are we gonna um, not see each other's Should I sit in the answers? middle? Okay. Got your questions right here. No peeking, baby. Yep, okay, no peeking. Okay. And see. then I'm after I ask the, after I ask the first question, just turn. You can write it down and then just turn it over. Okay. Okay. Ready? The first question is. If your spouse were to bring food into the bedroom, what kind of food would it be? Hi, Petrie. She's looking at me side eye. Is she gonna bite me? <laughs> no, she just looks out the side like, of her eye. She's like, bitch, no. Don't touch my fur coat. All right, ready? All right. Next question. Which one of your wife's friends looks the best in a bikini? Totally. All right, number Got three. This. Which animal would your spouse say you are in bed? Petrie, what do you think about this? Is this crazy or what? Look at those nails, girl. You are beautiful. All right, oh. next one. When it's time to be intimate, who makes the first move? All right, next question. Does Rob ever frog splash you in bed? 
All right, and this next question is a two part question. Oh, I ran out of paper. Oh, oh we need one more. Wait, here we go. Yep. She's hard to gotcha, right, right here. Right yep. Cool. All right, so the next question is if Katie had a hall pass, who would it be? And if, oh. and if Rob had a hall pass, who would it be? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he's writing already. I don't know. Huh? <laughs> All right, I'm going to go back over here, and then you guys can reveal your answers together. We'll go through it one by one, and you guys flip them over. Okay. If your spouse were to bring food into the bedroom, what kind of food would it be? Can we both show it? Oh, my God. <laughs> you guys both got it right. Yay. Yay. Protein bar. God, I wish I was that healthy. <laughs> Fuck. My husband would be like fries, a milkshake, <laughs> fucking all that other shit. All yeah. right. Good all job, right. baby. All one, right. So, wait, hold one. on. We got to oh, yeah. keep, keep tabs. Here I we forgot go. we're against each other. But I'm I mean, around. you know, it's cheering you out anyway. really together. I hope you win. Which one of your wife's friends looks best in a bikini? Oh my God! They did yes. it again. Oh, Who's no Jennifer? I want, is Jennifer the hot blonde? Yeah. yeah. So uh -huh. is she you guys' girlfriend, or what's the deal uh -huh. with that? Yeah. So she comes home and just bangs you both, and just you guys love her to death, and she's just is she part of the crew? The, Va like the Van Dam fam. Yeah. Yay! Like I love to that. Sessions. That's so yeah. cool that you have a wife like that too. I'm like that with my husband. I bring home sure. girls all the time. Yeah. Like you have to man if you're gonna be with somebody in the long on the in the long haul you might as well have fun together mm -hmm. instead of making them you know have to go outside the marriage to have fun so right. Right. Honesty. totally agree but all right next question is which animal would your spouse say you are in bed oh Gorilla, rabbit? I, just, I just said a rabbit because i know they're sexual animals oh, <laughs> he's like I, you know what i said uh, oh i didn't even think about it was you i don't know all right, when it's time to be intimate, who makes the first move? <laughs> yes, oh my God, they answered it right, yay. <laughs> Did you say I do or? I said I do. Oh, you said oh, you do, oh, okay. Were wrong. okay, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so all right, that's the one that you guys were yeah. didn't get, but it's okay, you guys are still tied. All right, <laughs> next. I took credit for that one. <laughs> next question. Does Rob ever frog splash you in bed? <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. I went, I went He's like, I'm not going line. that deep. He's like, I'm not gonna reveal <laughs> what we really do in bed. Dude, if you frog, frog splash in the pussy, I need to see this on OnlyFans. We gotta capitalize off this shit, man. Wasn't sure how to take that, like literally, or is she just gonna, you know? No, it's all good. I don't think there's really a, a wrong way to answer right. that question at all. All right. all right. Does that mean we got it right? Uh, sure. I'll Yay! Give it to you. Yay! There you go. Four. Everybody got it. All right. Who is Katie's hall pass and who is Rob's hall pass? Right. What do you think I said, baby? Well, I just said Jennifer. Right. I figured yeah. you'd say for me. Aww. Yeah. Right. And then what do you think I said for you? I don't know. Who would be your hall pass? I don't even want to hear her, guys. Oh, Cardi B. I don't even want to hear her, guys. So I don't even think about it. I don't, want, I don't know what's going to come out it's of her okay. mouth next. Are we, did we miss a question or did uh, I get them all? We're done. Oh, yeah. Yay. Well, I like that all pass for Cardi B, baby. Because we talked Aww. about that. You I were forgot. like, we were joking around and said something about, um, I would expect you to call me and say, um, you know, like, uh, baby, you know, there's only... This, you know, and you're like, oh, you were like, well, I have to take a shot. I have to take a shot and at least call you and try it. Yeah, it totally it was, happened. That yeah. conversation. I love it. You guys are Thank so you. cute. Well, you guys are fucking. <laughs> you guys tied, so you guys Yay! both get to go home and fuck each other. Yay! I love you guys as love. I think it's beautiful. Mm. I really do. Mm. <laughs> Katie, why don't you shout out your socials so that everybody knows where to find you? And Rob, you can shout out, or you, you know, you guys both can shout yeah. them out, or you could shout them all out. Cool. Okay. Mm -hmm. Everybody follow me on Instagram and Twitter, the Katie Forbes, and on OnlyFans.com slash Katie Forbes. And you can watch us every Tuesday night on Impact Wrestling on yeah. Access TV. Hey. Hey. Yeah. I love that. And then Rob, yeah. does he have any socials he wants to shout out? Or you uh, don't care about follow it? Follow me. <laughs> yeah, you can follow me. See me everywhere at The Real RVD. And, oh. and uh, 
rvdcbd.com that's uh yes, yes. what is this that you guys big, have it's a huge uh, huge venture that we're doing right now we're helping people we're we're fucking making people's lives better it's, yeah tell me a little bit about it so um, we can plug it on the podcast for sure um i sometimes i do stand-up comedy as well oh, like, awesome. like dude with the hearse. oh you guys with charlie charlie please yeah, go with him yeah mm -hmm. and um we brought a camera when I had like a seven day, you know, road trip, said, hey, it'll be cool to film it, whatever. But I showed up with double vision because I had a concussion from a wrestling oh match. Gosh. And I kept thinking. I'm doing that damn frog splash. <laughs> it was so simple, the thing that actually got me. But but anyway, I ended up, you know, I kept saying, well, I'll, I'll, I'll go with the plans. I'll keep doing the tour and uh, I'll wake up, feel fine tomorrow. But that never happened. So the concussion took over the agenda of the movie, of my life, of everything. I had to wow. get checked out with neurologists and vision therapy, all kinds of stuff. But it made a really awesome movie, though. It's called Headstrong. I have yeah. it on Amazon. Um, and it became a much bigger project than I wanted it to originally. But right. all the feedback I got was everyone telling me how much it's inspired them and it's helped them because they see that I've had to go through, you know, life's obstacles and, and, and stay cool and be the whole effing show. And, um, and I started, like, really getting... I, concussion awareness became real important to me like it always has been right until you really go through something you never know yeah. and i've had hundreds of concussions and i've lost a lot of friends uh, by suicide that they relate uh, to concussions yeah. because and they say that you know, that's the same thing that happens it goes with into football depression. players exactly it's yeah. called cte yes. chronic traumatic yep. encephalitis yes yeah, so um so when this became, you know, like, I'm like, make me the poster boy because people don't want to talk about it. And I never did my career, whole career. I never told anybody if I was whacked. You know what I mean? Right. That was my business, I thought. Right. But so anyway. Um, and you come from that generation of, like, yeah. you have to be more gangster. Yeah, yeah. totally. Yeah, it's yeah. different now. It's totally different. And, and so, you know. I, I wanna... wish it would go back to that. <laughs> <laughs> we had too many motherfuckers on the internet crying, dude. Yeah. Right. The same inspiration that wanted, that uh, I want to find what I can do, you know, awareness, communication, education. But also, yeah. I was reading a lot about CBDs and yes. how that can help. So I started RVD CBD and I, and, um, and I have a superior product. Yeah, I don't have the brain uh, formula yet, but that's always going to be... It's going to be trial and error to find all, it, right? Yeah, and, and, and once we do have it, I'll keep improving it, you know, yeah, absolutely. the more I learn with all yeah, the products, you know. Totally. But, but RVDCBD.com, our pain cream in particular, that's our flagship product. Like, So is it, is it bi I have tinctures, sublingual? I have tinctures, yeah, but um, which I have 3,000 milligram tinctures, which is like double what most people have. Right. A lot of us need more uh, CBD than other right. people and there's no guidelines to go by and if you look on the internet you can find uh, recommendations from any 20 milligrams all the way to 300 milligrams wow. a day some of us athletes bigger guys and whatever factors because we're all still learning now need more right so um my tinctures 3000 milligrams uh and also i have a four ounce pain cream that i have uh 3000 milligrams again it, way and more it, and it works you just it works put it so on. good i have it loaded with menthol so as soon as you oh, put dope. it on you're gonna feel it soothing and awesome. getting it oh it's so good and and so all the reviews are just telling me like we're helping people. Everyone's like, oh my god, thank yeah. you so much. Doesn't that make you feel good? So good, yeah. yeah. I've never never been part of something with so much positive energy yeah. before, like all the way. Yeah, so. I love that. And yeah. where can people find this at? Um, RVDCBD.com. Dot com. Yeah. I'm gonna have to get some yes. too. And on Instagram at RVDCBD as well. I it's love a, that. Yeah. I think. Thank you guys so much for coming today. You guys have Absolutely. such good energy, thank Katie. You. I'm Thanks. so excited to see where that ass goes. <laughs> I'm gonna follow that ass wherever it goes. Thank you're just you. such a good spirit such a good energy now that i've met rob same yeah. like you guys yeah. you guys really just deserve all the happiness in the awesome. world thank, thank you, you. So thank you, you guys too. so much Sweet. for being and here. we wish happiness back to you and yours yeah thank you so much now you guys go right home now. and fuck each other hey. <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys so much for tuning in to another episode of dumb blonde i will see you guys next week bye Bam.